Hi, my beautiful lovelies. It's Sunshine Luna here with the weekly, or bi-weekly now, uh, oracle card reading. Yay! Alright, so, it's been an awful busy couple of weeks. Just been super busy with getting done with school and getting over being sick and um, getting my shop a little bit renewed and refreshed, um, doing some cleaning, just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff's been going on. People have been graduating, um, moving on, whatnots. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick uh, oracle card reading for this, uh, the next two weeks until I do another. Um, so here we go. We are dealing with suppression. Ten of fire. Let's see. Where is ten of fire? Let's see. Ninety-six. It's been a while. I'm a little rusty. Here we go. <clears throat> the figure of this card is quite literally all tied up in knots. His light still shines within but he has repressed his own vitality, trying to meet so many demands and expectations. He has given up all his own power and visions in return for being accepted by the very same forces that have imprisoned him. The danger of suppressing, suppressing one's natural energy in this way is apparent in the cracks of a volcanic eruption about to take place around the edges of the image. The real message of the ch card is to find a healing outlet for this potential explosion. It is essential to find a way to release whatever tensions and stresses might be building up inside you right now. Beat up a pillow, jump up and down, go out into the wilderness and scream at the empty sky. Anything to shake up your energy and allow it to circulate freely. Don't wait for a catastrophe to happen. In Sanskrit, the name is Alahleya Vigyan, the house where you go on throwing into the basement things that you want to do but you cannot because of social conditions, culture, civil, and civilization. But they go on collecting there, and they affect your actions, your life, very indirectly. Directly, they cannot face you. You have forced them into darkness. But from the dark side, they go on influencing your behavior. They are dangerous. It is dangerous to keep all those inhibitions inside you. It is possible that these are things that come to a climax when a person goes insane. Insanity is nothing but all these suppressions coming to a point where you can cannot control them anymore. But madness is accepted, while meditation is not. And meditation is the only way to make you absolutely sane. So, all of those, all of those uh, suppressions, all of the things that people have made you subconscious about, um, not being pretty enough, not being the best at a sport, um, no, you can't wear that, that looks weird, um, just, just judgments that cause pain. And right now, everything that you judge about yourself needs to come out, and it needs to be freed. Whatever is suppressing you right now, whatever is causing tension in your life, you need to find a way to release that, or it's going to explode, and you're just going to go, ah, and go crazy. Um, and possibly hurt somebody that you care about, whether verbally or physically, depending upon the, you know, the type of situation it is. Um, 
So I just, I feel like that's what we need to focus on right now, is just inner work and self-expression. So uh, this is the bi-monthly um, oracle card reading, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you are watching this video, the oracle card will apply to you in what, whatever shape or form. Alright, so please uh, remember to like my video and to subscribe. Um, have a great night. Uh, much love and light.